Okay, I decided I'd take this opportunity to present another failed demonstration of how you can use Unix or Linux in your office um, to do the things you need to do every day. Um, I'm in Ubuntu Linux, and today I've spent a good amount of the time setting up different applications that we need to run in our accounting office, but there are a few that are missing, and that what that on top of um, a little bit of uh, some kinks and some, um, I guess, you, you know, you just kind of don't really know if it's going to work next time when the next version of Wine comes out, kind of uh, a little bit of hesitation there as to whether we could actually make the move. But with the set of tools that I have here and some assumptions or um, just some thought into what could be uh, pretty much points out that an accounting firm could be run uh, on a Linux, Linux desk uh, entirely without any Windows installations in them at all. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an installation of an Acrobat 9 professional, which, uh, at least for my situation, I know is um, I haven't seen any of the reports of this out there. Um, besides, um, besides what I've what I've done, it may have someone may have already done this already. I don't know, but in case not, well, here it is. I'm also going to go a little bit into um, how to what the network share situation is here and how how the files are set up. <sighs> okay, um, both in there's a, there's a um, set of there is a enhancement tool for a program called Wine, called Crossover Office, that's available at codeweavers.com. <laughs> you just go there. I'm already signed in. This is where you would get it. You sign up for an account, and let's see, what are there? Let's see, right now I'm looking for Crossover Linux, and let's see, I'm logged in. Hopefully it's not going to... Okay, so... If I get the pro version, I think it's about 70 bucks, and it might be per year, it might be every two years. So for 70 bucks, you can set up a, theoretically, um, you would be able to set up an emulated environment and um, in one, one desk and then copy the contents of a few folders, the .cx office folder, which is right here and that CX office folder and you also have to have a network share set up if your chances are good if you're an accounting firm you're, you're running on a Windows server and you're sharing your files you know if more than one person wants to work on a particular job or for next year you, you're gonna keep it there in, in storage you're gonna have to be able to mount your network shares and in this case I, I have them mounted at that mount point I'll, I'll go over I'll go over that um, shortly as I <laughs> exit Audacity while I'm making my copies. Okay. Um, over there. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I don't know where I should start. Should I start out? Maybe I should start out how far along we are, or wine is uh, in general and how it works. So, what you do is you download that binary, it, it lands in your home directory, and you'll get a small. Um, file that maybe I've even, make sure I got my home directory, right there, that's the file, okay, it's called cro install crossover pro, and to set that up, you would be, as soon as you open up your command prompt, I gotta do it from over here, and the good thing about Ubuntu is things are where you expect them to be, mostly, and the, 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 the descriptions for programs for installing are also there, you would do this, dot slash, and then install, <coughs> And then, actually, I just press the tab key after typing INS, because <clears throat> there's nothing else there. And then it comes up, and you press Enter, and then you get a graphical user interface. At that point, I'm going to stop it before it gets to the point where it installs. And um, at that point, you're able to install different applications. And I'll show you what comes up after you, you're in there, and the way it's managed after you've done the initial install, if you don't install your first set of applications. After the install is done, it looks like this, I believe, 
and they'll give you a list of supported applications and they'll also give the option to install other applications that are not supported. Now every accounting firm I am sure is unique. Uh, they have different, you have different requirements to do different things, different tools to do different things. So there's a lot of, there are a lot of different issues to consider. And, um, and when I say that an accounting firm could conceivably uh, do its work uh, from within a Linux desk, uh, I'm talking about some very narrow parameters, and I'll get into that when I start my next one.